the month of March and we are wrapping Ghana as she celebrates her 65th independence from British colonial rule. And we at Ghana Web have made it a point to during this period get you and bring you a series of beautifully written stories, uh, features and flashbacks about Ghana. Now in this edition of the People and Places show here on Ghana Web TV, we are focusing on the manufacturing and the production of some locally made artifacts that we enjoy eating from, drinking from, and cooking with. I'm talking about the earthenware bowl, which is usually referred to as the Asanka or Apotoiwa in the Akan language, Ka in the Ga or Kobo language, and Vegba in my native language, the Ewe language. We'll also be taking a look at how pots are made. We'll find answers to all of these when we return from this short break. We are at Kweu. This is People and Places. My name is Wanda Mihigan. See you after the break. Welcome back from the break. Thank you for staying with us. This is still People and Places. Now we are at a place called Intuntumeja and we are on the compound of Madame Jeanette Owusu Buama. She is our guest today. She is one of the people we'll be speaking to. She's a porter and she does earthenware bowls and pots as well. So she's going to take us through the process from the start to the very end. Auntie Jane Marchi. Nyamia Dum Nounswe. Me Pacho, a jume, why an infiahe? Me. Me and Miss Chocola. Sir, to say bear six years and now five years and now. Unkai. Menkai did it. Now, why ne passing on to you, mamma, old Jiffy, old mammy, why not say? Now, mommy, start here. Here, no, 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 we <laughs> Moon, yeah. Okay, okay. You see, what she essentially is saying is that she, they had other uh, poultry um, materials they were making, but over time, with the introduction of aluminium um, wares and other things, they have stopped doing that because people don't purchase that anymore. So now they focus mostly on the earthenware bowls. And so she's going to take us through how they do it. Now, are you one know who start here? Yeah, who they who start it from points bay? Who they then here? Who they clay? Any other name? Let's run on one here. Bring come on here. Okay, now clay no a type bay. Munye fi hefa first of all. Buponum. Oh, okay. Then see, I'm going to say the bremo. Hmm. I say me 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 Namu omo de dance ani ya etu. In the soso. Okay, okay. Nti mutua e de befia dem biu namu ye. From then. Umba si se um se ibi ni se se guhe ya kataso. Pasho beti ni di su kaka mama she. Mm. 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 Mm.
เย็นเอียบเอียนเอียบบ้างเหรอนะว่าสวัสดเอจุมาเอเย่เอเย่ดิ้งโอเบคัสเอเย่เอจุมาเอจุมาดิ้งอืมที่วันนี้เอาหัวดิ้งเอาวันที่มีเนี่ยถ้าเกิดจะมีบิดใจอ่าที่วันใจเสียโอเดโอเดฮันดิโอวัดสุขานะอ่าเสมอฟังบิดที่มีเดียวันเบย์วันที่มีสัวนะนั่นจะเป็นบิสเนสนี่นะอู้อู้บิ๊กเอาบัวเอเย่ Nyawa ya, anak aku kan nyawa ya. Oh wow. So this is a very skillful. Art, you need, I'm sure, years of experience to be able to do this. You saw her start very little from the mold, and then as she did it, she expanded it. So now it's actually looking like a medium sized earthen web bowl. And what she's saying is that you would actually need the sunlight to get it dry after this process. And then when it's dried, then she picks it up from the wooden pallet, and then she does the under part of the earthenware bowl. So we are moving to the next stage. This is where it comes from the molding stage. This is where they lay it. Okay, so technically, what she's saying is, from there, you they put the molded bowls into this. This is like firewood, and so they set fire, and then they arrange it, and then it bakes under the fire. So when it bakes, then it gets this reddish color that we are seeing here. Then from here, they put it in sawdust, and then they cover it with. The sawdust. There's fire in the sawdust. So this is when this reddish earthenware bowl is transformed into the black color we are seeing here. So they leave it in the sawdust for a while. When it they think it's ready, I mean, then they take it out, and then they have the black. So they have two types: the reddish one, and then the black one. But we are going to get into the designs, and then we'll talk more with Auntie Jane. So now we are at the residence of Auntie Jane, and she is already designing some of the earthenware bowls that she has already molded. These ones are relatively dry, so we are going to have the rest of the conversation about how it's designed. Auntie Jane, me pacho incident ne ya odi ya design no. Ina mi diki de wano. Ibini. Okay. So this is what she uses. The kola nut. These are what provide the lines inside the earthenware bowls.
Jane is done with her second earthen wear bowl for the day and it looks just perfect. It has to be brace it. At least now when you're using it, you can appreciate it more. The work that goes into the making of these beautiful earthen wear bowls for us to prepare our local food. Sometimes enjoy our meals in. So we'll move to the pottery where we meet people who tell us how to make the pots. Come along. We moved from Intuntum Eja at Kweu in Priyazo. Auntie Jane's place, if you will remember, where we learned all about how to make the earthenware bowls. And then we saw some visuals of the locally made pots. Now we are at the factory, I would like to call it a factory, of Emmanuel Ose. He is a local manufacturer of ceramics. He does jars, bowls, plates, anything ceramics you can think about, but they are done right from the clay here in the eastern region so he's going to take us through the entire process he's going to tell us how they refine the clay and they mold it to become the finished product Inti nyawo yam sey no obe twan amana ye den ye yam ya na de nyu de pese den okay de fi won mana de aba aba de se na machine we o no o se e den e fe pack ma e no na yam clean ma de de ne de me ni nya e mix okay e mix clean e ye pe se de be odi I know you one texture. Okay. And she say, if he Okay. 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 In the young question, you are true in here about it. Porters, okay, okay. It makes it look so easy, but I'm not sure I can do this with the potter's wheel. Mr. Ose has just created three artifacts, a bowl, a cup, and a vase, a flower vase. So, like he said, it takes a lot of experience and you can learn this if you want to, but you would have to put in some commitments to be able to do that. It's very impressive. And it's a umodi reseya. Then be now be. Umodi reseya. If you need to put food in, you maybe you need to see one. Mhm. You need to cut a bit of a dry kagra. Mhm. That way, the supporters will be also. Masa di ababa. Masa di ababa. Okay. If you need to put food in, you need to see one. Okay. Um, maybe you need to see one. Hmm.
we'll just hold it there and take a quick break when we come back we'll go to the people who buy some of these products and find out from them how business is stay with us We table issues relating to the arts and entertainment for a riveting discussion, of course, without fear nor favor. The question the presenter asked them was a dumb question. You need to speak there for them, move. Varied views. We agree to disagree. So I would disagree with everything you said. I think that he's a smart guy. I think what he no, did. No, but I, I, I haven't said he's a smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess, I guess yeah. that I'm waiting for the what next. Yeah, to be I don't think that I have. We have to wait for what next. It sometimes gets confrontational. But that's the beauty of the game. I don't know him. It's a package. We meet, we sit, we dialogue, we learn, we progress. My name is Benefo Wabin Abrantepa, a proud blogger, and this is my forum. Now, let's learn something interesting about Ghana. Ghana has the largest number of forts and castles in the whole of Africa. 32 forts and castles are dotted across the country's coastal areas. We've gone through the whole process of the pottery, finding out how we prepare or how we mold our earthenware bowls and pots. Now we are going to look at the business side of the entire thing. People who buy, how much do they sell it for? How much do they profit? How profitable is this business? And which kind of people usually come and buy? For what purposes? We are starting with our first client who bought from Auntie Jane and her name is Auntie Sewa. So we are engaging here, matching. Yeah, over. I'm sure it's the same. Apume, Now, me pacho, um, are you one? Are you one? Are you one? Okay. Now, are you one? The same. I mean, over twelve, over ten, the same. Be almost the same. Am I? We are not ten, ten. Okay. Ten, be a one. Size near the size is okay. the size is 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 the size the size is the size is the size the the uh -huh, for ten minina. Okay, what to what say ya? O kwa o kojuma. Uyi ba kusea. What to ne say? Ni ni free ha me de ko achamoda. Oh okay. Eh hona o o o o so awa de. Okay. O kwa awa. Wow. It depend it. It was sunny we are. Mm hmm. It will be sunny di ani di abobo. It is wa. It depend it. It depend it. So we could drive di. I am. Now, the a big booba, bear him like to say, not to say, a booba, and now, so what the mouse is. But all the rolly fair come and bay eight cities. Okay. This is how they get and mine. Not just a balcon, a nine cities. But the whole thing, a six cities. But could say no to amount of six cities and not ten nini nine and six cities. Well, I could say, mm-hmm. I know better amount of six cities. Oh, okay. In nini na be sixty cities. Okay. Into what quite now the lawyer fair ni will profit at so not just a dani ten cities. Into what they profit into so we now to a nani nine hundred cities. Okay. Okay. Not just a winya 
40 CDs. 20, because still there are only film. Ah, where you with 20 CDs? <laughs> in your film, now just say, oh, prophet, 20 CDs. Okay. And see, I'm fine to say, within now what should be a day, Obaha, how many times? Ever far? Now, I'm going to go to the top. I'm to go to the Okay. Yo. So that's Auntie Siwa's side. We are wrapping up the conversation and now we are at the Nkoko Junction. Here you find a lot of women traders who trade in these artifacts. They sell the earthenware bowls and then they sell the pots as well. I have Sister Ata here with me. She's going to tell me a little bit about her business, which kind of people buy from her and what they come and buy from her for. Sister Ata, Michelle, let us say. Okay, business -y. What start to sell what ton are you wanting to put? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. One I was starting here and I said, "Oh my men, they didn't." Oh my men, they didn't. 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 Mm -hmm. I see. In to make us a business now, a cost. Could it be? Could it be that? then the money, and then the money. Say you know what to say. Say you know what to say. Say you know what to say. Okay, say you know what to say. Okay, say you know what to say. Okay, I see. Now she say, "Yeah, bang, go for bar, ho ho bar, no more beto, edeko." Okay. Me, me, who say, "Oh, I put away one, no, and as I sank no, oh, clay, the any baby, same black, the any, no, eh, dent ya." Never in a quay one, black one in a quay one. Then I am more. Now, way clay, dear, no, why money? I don't if you see you. Oh, into a fifty hole, and the book for one. Ah, into a no tonic, a be not quay with the no tonic be very in coffin tanto. Oh, okay. But uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, if baby or more, yeah, eh, you know, na a honum no, or more, or more bo, also a ton the same thing. And yes, if you are a ton is there five cities, you are between the yes, you are seven. What of you have five cities, sir? Yes, I think. Yes, not with me for the thirty cities, twenty five cities, and the sizes. The name a ton, name a ton, I'm like a cat. Now, why must I? I mean, as I say, I hope na ya umba for iye no. Obi beto aywa na ya umu de de. Aywa de ubu a ofu koko wa meto aywa bu. Tunde. Koko wa meto aywa bu. Biya suke ku aywa. But I mean, say umu a umu wa umu krum hano. Umu ta umu de de. Ebi a choba na say umu de yam. Okay. Ma yen kasanfa pots na hokakra. Person in cheating a day. Cuckoo. Ha. Meaning say, Tititino, no. day ensue a good pot in enum. Is this still a thing? A idea, a war horse, yes, yeah. It won't sweat the anyway, a good. Mhm. It's in our own anyway. I see. Yeah, now, the difference is in the way. The human is not a person. I don't know why it's a human. Okay. It's a human. It's a 
all the cap, all their saving, all their money. Okay. But what can say? What do what they know more they need you? A draw bands, huh? I do I a little I not get yeah, Okay, where any of anything? A police. Ha, I know na. We nya why we na. Nya umoko na na udi chi. Ha. Na where is we nya fi? Where di? Where di? Omo ay omo mi chwa omo di free. Chwa di pa yung inchi inchi. Ena ay lo ya wa yung ha. Ay di ni ma omo omo di free opa. Ay di free ni ato. Okay. Now, in the way, say no. And also, what sizes? Ah, uh, this, this is a chain. Hmm. I will go have new beer and a packet. Go a packet. But Tapolino, any asanka size in the corner. I want to meet two beer. I want to meet two cases. 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 I want to meet two Sister Ta telling us about the business. She showed us the different things she has here, the kind of people who usually buy, why they buy. Uh, and so now we have a fair idea about the sale of her products here. These are locally made. We were at the various points where they make them earlier and we saw the processes they go through. So this is where we wrap up our conversation. We have uh, Kweu, Iowa, and then we have the Sunyani made Iowa, and then we have our pots that people will usually use um, to cook medicine. So that's it from us here, just to demonstrate. If you have your Iowa, you get your pepper, you can have your kontomre if you want to do a boom, if you want to eat fufu in this. You can just get any kind of local delicacy. And the Asanka just gives it some form of spice, you know. And so you can get one for yourself and then enjoy your meal in it. For myself and the people and places team, we are grateful you could make time with us on this edition of the show. From Kwewu in Koko, my name is Wanda Amhagen. See you in the next edition.